being free. It's an odd feeling. You search for freedom for so long, and now that you actually have it, you're confused on what to do with it. Perhaps that's why God doesn't let us fulfill our every desire. It comes at a cost to our sinful, greedy heart. But what is freedom? Is it the grace that God gives us, or our free will? Are we already free? Then why does it say that we are slaves to our sin, our flesh, before we are saved? Then when we are saved, we become slaves to Christ instead. If we're in a box where free will and predestination are both true, then how can we ever be free? God claims to free us from our sin when we choose him. Thou shalt not hunger nor thirst no more. But what about freedom from God? Simple. There is no freedom without God, because that's separation from God. Separation from God is death. It's hell. Does a daisy grow without sunlight? Does a daisy grow without proper nutrients in its soil? Better yet, does a daisy live without these things? No. Those moments when I sat in my room wondering, what is life? What's the meaning of it? What happens in the end? They all led up to me finding the truth, the way, the life. They all led to Jesus. Now I wonder what the freedom and peace are. Do they go hand in hand? Or are they separate? I've already found my peace. Have I found my freedom? <laughs>